Hello and welcome to Rim World. I'm going to be starting a new colony in Rim World Alpha 11 with the new set of mods that I found in the community. So, I'm going to create a new world. This should, this should be fine. I'm going to generate like this. Like unlike Dwarf Fortress, this happens much faster. This is loading much less things. So we'll start a new colony. I'm going to put him challenge. I'm going to do this to balance this game because to show out what other mods, the, some of the mods are capable of. It will be extremely easy if I left in normal mode. So I'm actually going to use this one. So I'm going to try to choose a place that is near the coastline so our enemies can't attack us from this direction. This place should be good. Yeah. Oh, what you know, it's in the ocean. Never mind. Yeah, that should be good. So I'm going to select this site. And I'm going to show you the prepare carefully mod. Now with this mod, you can add up to 10 columnists. I'm going to be doing about 5. Yeah. That's your 6. Right? And you could change everything about them. Their skin color, their hair color, their clothes, their backstories, their ages. Oh, this is their years and so many days they have. Now, I'm pretty sure people will eventually die if they get old enough. But I've never had that happen to me. People usually die of other reasons than old age. I'm actually going to say this. And you can also save and load presets. I'm going to name this preset. And then next. Now in this mod, when one of those one of these mods forces you to uh, need seeds. To actually plant things, and because of that, I am actually going to get some potato seeds. About 30 should be enough. You can also add food and weapons. Some of these weapons are extremely overpowered, some of them or surprisingly underpowered and you also add clothes like armor and we'll start the game like this and watch as it generates the map First thing I'm gonna do is pause the game. Then, yep. This is a smaller map than I usually play on, but that's because bigger maps can sometimes lag. Alright, 
so after looking at this, what I'm going to do is unforbid all this stuff. Then make a stockpile somewhere over here. Should be good enough. Then I'm gonna build a five by five room, I believe, because at first it's best to just build a five by five room. But oh, and these are werewolves. They aren't hostile, but can become hostile if you get too close to them. They're of course part of a mod, not actually a uh, part of the vanilla game. Alright, we're going to build You won't be able to build a one conduit wall until we research the technology. Which will make this a bit longer than I was originally hope planning for. And put a wooden door right here. Then I'm going to make a dumping stockpile somewhere over here, I guess. And I'm going to get in the orders to haul this stuff. So, with this mod, you can see everyone's health and uh, and mood up here. So, what we're gonna do is get the best shooter. And give them the survival rifle. We'll take the second best shooter and give them her a pistol and I'll see here I'm going to unforbid all this stuff because there really is no reason for them to be forbidden I mean it's free food and free medicine and we're stuck on an alien planet I think those come in health So, no silver. We have to research the technology to turn steel ore into steel bars so they could actually be used. Before that, I'm going to make one big ass farm down here. This is so we don't run out of food. So, I'm make a growing zone right about here and have it grow potatoes and speed this up now like Dwarf Fortress which this game is based off of to an extent uh, characters will start off with jobs that are based off their skills that means that hopefully we'll have a grower here. Yep, so that you already did start planting some, planting some uh, potato plants. Those actually, I'm not sure if it shows how many days. It should take a, a few days to grow fully. 
and when that does you'll get more seeds out of them so that we will then be able to plant more stuff I am going to now make some sleeping spots this like the name suggests allows her calling this to sleep I will make a barracks style sleep sleep area that you going to cancel that I can barely see when it's so dark like this. I mean, I'm just stupid. Yes, probably just I'm just stupid. So, next thing I'm gonna do is make a wind torch. And hopefully, someone will get on to building that soon. If we, of course, have the wood. Does not seem we have the wood. So I uh, was gonna find some trees that are around here. I got to forbid this. And since it's so dark I can't see there are any trees, I'm going to just order them to chop wood over this near air oh there actually are a lot of trees around here. Kalna seems to prioritize eating above everything else, including sleeping, which makes sense. So most of the don't have weapons. We should get weapons from people on our next attack. That means we have to research stuff to actually advance any further. I'm going to build. No, that's not what it is. Yep, research bench. But before that, I'm going to have to build a hand sawmill, which will turn wood into wood planks, which allows us to build more complicated structures. I don't recommend starting with this mod pack. Uh, it's the mod pack that I got off the forums. I don't recommend it if you're not used to the game because it complicates most things. It's also a rare, rare gra graphic thing that if the building is off your screen, the shadow disappears from it. Also, Sleeping spots don't give a lot of sleep benefits. That means unlike if you use a regular beds, people that sleep on sleeping spots will sleep for longer than if you use the actual bed. Meaning, this, meaning that you get less work done until you actually make beds. Yep. And now they won't get the... Uh, Basically, if they sleep in darkness, they will get, they'll eventually get sad until they eventually go crazy. So, and, uh, now, if they stay in a dark room too long, they'll eventually go sad until they go crazy. So I'm going to light this room up because it's pretty, pretty much the only room they have. I'm going to check the character and their needs. And they're sharing bedroom, but the bed's still big enough. Because the D the debuff for the for the room this room is sleeping and not being big enough is larger than simply than simply uh than sharing a bedroom. So it's more logical if you have to make a choice uh to if you're low on resources to have them sleep in all in a large bedroom. Right, and separate 
separate one. Okay, now on this, I'm going to add a bill. Bill is basically... Let's do this. I am going to make it so... They do until you have X. Then... Make sure they do until I have 75. This should give us a constant amount of wood planks that we that we need. And we seem to have used all our seeds on this, so. Okay, next thing I'm gonna build is furniture. I'm going to make a wooden track wall table. First, I should probably make it into a room so that our plants aren't eating on the floor or outside. table is a course from another mod that basically allows you to make your tables any size you wish I'm actually going to wait until morning to do that because it's of course too dark you see probably what I'm doing Now we have a new problem. We are almost out of food. Something that I should have noticed a long time ago, how fast we're running out. What's this? So still ore? No. Well that is useful then we should probably spend most of our time searching for food right now. And this. Even though it's only five is better than nothing. We also have a pack of muffalo right here. Or alpha one on the other side of the map, which are tougher, but they of course give more meat. Yeah. Now I'm going to make the wind draggable table. So, wooden stools around it. Of course, this may be a problem. I'm also going to make a wooden plant pot on both sides of here and here. This makes the room look better. Gee, that's symmetrical. So, I cancel that. This makes the room look better so that the comments are more happy when they sleep have to sleep in here. Because the room's ugly, they won't want to sleep in there. I'm just gonna add one in here too. Right next to the fire. What could possibly go wrong? Why I'm just gonna call him Jack though. Oh, we actually have some food over here. Of course, they're in the water, so they're probably gonna be all soggy when we try to eat them, but it's better than starving to death. Yeah, 
turns. We should build turns, but we don't have the technology that will give us power. Yeah, we don't. So we have to wait for someone to make this so we can actually do that. Oh, you. Has no weapon. So I meant you just have to retreat. Craft these guys and retreat them back here. At the same time, getting the person with the gun. Shit, that might not be a good idea. How does someone get there in the way? They're in the way of the shooting. Oh, but Alex is actually a very good shot. And the warg seems to be dead. Unless I wasn't the only one. So, let's see your production. We're gonna make a hand prep food prep table. See if that allows the bush and some creatures so you can use a warg for meat. Now I'm going to look in the stockpile and see what allows corpses of animals. Because if it doesn't, then they'll just leave on the floor there. still needs treatment so what I want to do is turn it zoom in to turn his bed into a medical bed and look up all the other characters and see if they have any uh, have any healing specialties nope kind of nope nope oh lucky for I'm never going to try to pronounce that. I'm going to call him V. Fox here is good at medicine. Because right, I don't see how he got the nickname Fox. Looks like a pretty big dude. Yep, pretty big dude. Fox is usually the name given to people that are going to turn this bed to medical. I'm going to get Fox. Doctor is turned on. We'll turn everyone else's doctor off so they don't interfere. No, if I. Ah, oh, no. Nope, Fox is sleeping. Small wounds could turn very bad if left alone. Even if the even if the R in the R minor. So I'm gonna make a wind chest table. And some 
one of the horseshoes pins right about here so that Horvitz has to come in sooner or else we're going to die These plants look like they have berries on. Yep, raspberry bushes. So I'm gonna give the cut. Yeah, cut plants order. Actually, yeah, the harvest order. This will give us some berries, so that we so we have more to eat. Some interesting, yep, looks like we're gonna have to build some wooden planks with that. They should make the research station. The torch is burnt out. Oh, so we got some treasure. I need to start reading these. Looks like we got some cargo pods and some pumpkin seeds. We will get those because those are some useful, useful stuff right now. Not to mention they're pretty close. We don't have to be traded with them for some reason. Even though, even though we need an orbital, orbital trade beacon and a way to communicate with them, even though they're right there, doesn't make much sense. But I don't know. Apparently, the mod maker thought was a good idea. forgot to make a door so we got some visitors uh, a problem with visitors I, the good thing about visitors they um they give you better relations with with the with their faction problem they will sometimes eat your food regardless where of how much you have Oh, I forgot to put his bed back to normal. Oh, well then. So I'm gonna make another growing area. This time, growing pumpkins. Oh, we don't have the ability to grow pumpkins, do we? Of course, the thing else you have to research the ability to grow pumpkins. Now, where is Vol v, v? Yeah, V. I'm very bad with foreign names. Alright, so I'm going to research power one. And yep, and someone has to hold that sooner or later. Then I'm 
going to build a simple grill back here. very slowly we still have low food but not is not as low as it was before we can now make ourselves some jerky Got that should show you the faction menu. This is the world menu. The faction menu. And like normally is there's usually only one or two factions that are not that are in the green with you. They like you. Most other factions would are not either uh either just not like you but not to the point that they're hostile. But some factions just hate your guts when you start out. They probably, see us, they probably most likely see us, see us as a weak target. Most of these people here are low tech. That means if we get higher technology, we should be able to beat them in a fight. Ask why haven't I built some sandbags yet? And the answer is pretty simple. I don't know, let's see your security. Sandbags need sand. And I have no idea how to get sand while I was for trading for it. That means until I trade for sand, I'm not going to be able to get sand. Dig. So in other words, I won't be able to have sandbags until I trade for them. Yeah, they do find the location in this place pretty beautiful because of the flowers, but not much. You have 230 pumpkin seeds. Can't use them because you haven't researched it yet. And I have, now the research started, I'm going to end the video here. Bye and see you later.